아, 안녕하세요. 월요일입니다. 아, 출근해야 돼요. 운동하기 너무 싫으네요. 이, 여기 눈이 자, 자꾸 떨. 아, 진짜 비타민을 먹어야 되나? 영양제를 먹어야 되나요? 이 30대 후반은 영양제 없이는 살수 없는 것인가요? 아, 일단 운동이 너무 하기 싫어요. 오늘, 오늘 날씨 되게 좋아요. 어제 눈이 많이 왔죠? 근데 오늘은 날씨 너무 좋네요. 하늘이 너무 맑습니다. 미세먼지도 없는 것 같고. 아, 그래도 이제 커튼 쳐놓고 여기 잠깐 누워있었어요. 햇빛 받으면서. 너무 좋네요. 일단 운동을 해야겠죠? 어저께 진짜 운동 많이 했어요 영상 찍고 나서도 계속 스쿼트랑 팔꿈펄펄이랑 턱걸이 계속 했고요 그 다음에 저녁도 우리 앞집 사는 동생네 가서 밥도 많이 먹고 과일도 많이 줘서 진짜 배 엄청 많이 저 과식 과식 그 집만 가면은 먹을 게 넘쳐서 아주 좋은 집입니다 많이 얻어 먹고 왔습니다 아 오늘은 아, 좀 쉬어야 되는데 일단 폼롤러랑 스트레칭 하면서 아, 팔굽혀펴기 한 10개만 하고 영상 끝내도록 할게요 좀 잠깐 누워서 좀 쉬어야겠습니다 friends at Sesame Street are back on CNN to answer your holiday COVID questions. I know all about vaccines! The ABCs of COVID-19, a new CNN Sesame Street Town Hall for Families, Saturday on CNN. Welcome back. Our final young wonder is a first. I don't think we've ever honored a young person who can do what he can. Now, to tell us this story, please welcome a proud supporter of Amazon Watch, which promotes indigenous-led solutions to climate change in the Amazon basin. And one of the stars of phenomenal Stranger Things, actor and musician Finn Wolfhard. Listen, if you're thinking that you can't do anything to help out during this crisis, you're wrong. We've all got something that we can do. Simple stuff like thanking the frontline workers or donating food. And then some of us know how to fly a plane at the age of 16 like TJ. Um, Sure, flying's amazing, but it's what he does with a special skill that is the coolest thing in the world. He saw that many hospitals in rural areas weren't getting enough masks, gloves, and other equipment. So, he looked at the plane, talked it over with his parents, and set out on the most extraordinary mission. Ever since I was uh, around nine years old, I wanted to become a Navy pilot. It's kind of been like my childhood dream. So being able to join a flight school and pursue my dream of flying has been really amazing. Once everything started to really shut down, like school or lacrosse season, flight training was really one of the only things I had left. And so I talked with my dad and together we came up with the idea of Operation SOS. We donate face masks, face shields, eye goggles, shoe coverings, full gown coverings, and also more recently, ventilator supplies to rural hospitals. Clear prop. I'm TJ's primary instructor. When he first came to me with the idea, I was taken aback. 
to see such a young person be so selfless is just an awesome feeling. A lot of those rural areas have smaller airports, a bit more challenging because the runways aren't as long. They're not as wide, not typically what we would train in. And he's done really, really well with that. He has such a bright future. The initial goal was to go to each of the seven critical access hospitals in Virginia. Now I'm on flight number 18, so I've way surpassed that. How was your flight? It was good. I'm up to now around 63,300 total PBEs delivered. Today was a pretty exciting day. It's not often that we get supplies delivered via student pilot. Thank you. Compared to the big city hospitals where everyone wants to donate, the rural hospitals feel left out sometimes. Appreciate all your efforts you. there. You're welcome. Just seeing uh, how happy it makes them that uh, someone cared about them and reached out to them, that really is what makes the whole Operation SOS worth it. As long as the whole pandemic is going on, they're still putting themselves in danger and they are still in need of supplies. I need to keep going out and supplying them. <laughs> So awesome. <laughs> Incredible. TJ Kim joins us now. Hey, congratulations, TJ. Thank you so much on this award. I'm really honored to be here. Well, you've oh, been totally fabulous. deserving. It's so impressive what you've done. I know you expanded into another state to West Virginia. How'd you pick that? Uh, well, I wanted to go out to West Virginia, especially because they're one of the hardest hit states uh, when it comes to COVID cases across America and <laughs> uh, communities that I wanted to reach out to and serve. Recently, I went out to Broadus Hospital in Philippi, West Virginia, and I made a delivery to them. They're a 12-bed hospital just crushed by COVID, and they told me that uh, my delivery would supply them for the next uh. four to six weeks. So just really being able to go out to those small uh, communities is really what uh, made me want to go out to West Virginia. Wow, and we understand that you want to be a Navy pilot, is that right? Yes, ma'am, that would be correct. <laughs> so you, do you want, you want to go to the Naval Academy? Yes, sir. Uh, that's been my dream ever since I was uh, nine years old. I wanted to be a Navy pilot, and so just working toward that and recently being able to learn how to fly and pursue a uh, pilot's license has been great in uh, getting me toward that. Well, it's so amazing, all the work you're doing. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you, sir, for having me. That's such Thanks, an honor. TJ. Our next presenter is going to remind us how much art played a role in helping us get through the hardships of this year. Please welcome UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador and the oh. star of Retaliation and the Outpost, Orlando Bloom. When the lockdown hit, we were all scared, uncertain about how things would unfold. But one thing we realized right away was wow, that we were going to help with the basics like food, shelter, and health care. They need support to keep family businesses open. Artists were struggling too. Theatres were locked, galleries shut, concerts and productions canceled. They would all need assistance. So artists in every field rallied to raise awareness and hundreds of millions of dollars wow, to catch those struggling. That need continues and so does the need for a little respite from the relentless difficulties of this pandemic. So artists organized to do that. And scripted readings to bring a little bit of joy to all the artists. DJs held online dance parties and hip hop bands. Authors and poets gave us their words and truth. Musicians and dancers filled the streets. To help to life with colorful messages. What are we supposed to do? They united, comforted, and brought us together in the name of a common humanity. In the name. But for so many, it was a fundamental of all its many forms. Early on, DJ could use his art to help lift spirits in quarantine. I was home alone, you know, I wasn't with my kids, and I was still trying to figure out a way to stay connected. I was also scared, you know, like most people in the world. And I sat on the counter and I started playing songs into my phone. And I would share stories. 
people started to feel connected and they were pretending